Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog. This lesson is our using the discriminant in our real world problem, so uh, in the quadratic formula. So here we go. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. I made a mistake in the last lesson in part one. Did you catch it? I multiplied something wrong. So anyway, uh, I make mistakes all the time. My kids catch me. So here's a problem here. So for each problem, we're going to uh, use the discriminant uh, to determine uh, how many real solutions there are. Remember in the last lesson, we either had two solutions, one solution, or no solutions when it was less than zero. Okay, and then we'll find the solutions and check to see if they make sense. Okay. So here's the first one. A diver jumps from a platform 10 meters above the surface. Okay, and so the diver's height uh, is given by this equation right there and then so where t is the time in seconds after the diver jumps so find the time the divers height is one meter high so we're gonna uh, set this equal to one right here and then solve okay now it said uh, in the directions up here it said um, uh, use the discriminant to find out how many uh, real possible solutions there are so um, I, I put it all on the left hand side a lot of students want to um, you know just subtract one and make it equal to zero it doesn't matter you guys because it all come out to be the same so I, I threw it all on the left hand side over there you get the same equation except they're all negatives um, uh, anyway so if I would have subtracted one it would have been a, a plus nine over there and this would have been a plus 3.5 and a negative so either way so there's a there's B there's C so let's do B squared minus 4ac to talk about the discriminant right there so gonna need your calculator here so pick it up and then uh, so we get 188.65 alright so since uh, that's greater than zero it has two real solutions and uh, I'm running out of room so we'll go over here on the next flip chart so now we'll go ahead and use the quadratic formula with this equation I like to use I like to have this to be positive you guys uh, to use the quadratic formula although you don't have to I don't think I did in the next one so whatever you still get the same answers right here so I'm gonna go opposite B okay plus or minus and then this guy squared minus 4 times this guy times this guy right there okay um, and then um, and then so we already know that uh, the b squared minus 4ac is at uh, 188.65 so now we just do uh, uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of 188.65 over twice a okay so there's that right there and crank that out make sure I did it right okay and so approximately equal that's what this is right here because uh, the square root of 188.65 is approximately 13.73 so we're gonna go 3.5 plus 13.73 uh, divided by 9.8 and then uh, minus the 13.73 so so there we go and we go ahead and get those two answers right there now since we're talking about time you guys we can disregard this negative because we're not gonna have a negative time that that diver jumps so the diver uh, is at the height when he jumps. He's at the height of one meter after about uh, 1.76 seconds. So he's up here at 10, 10 meters, and then he dives. So after about 1.76 seconds, he's about a meter above the water right there. Okay. All right, so here's another one. I've just put the directions down there. It says for each problem, use the discriminant uh, to determine the number of real solutions and find the solutions. Okay. So here we go. A soccer player uses her head to hit the ball up in the air at a height of 2 meters with an initial uh, vertical velocity of uh, 5 meters. That's what this is right here per second. Okay, so the height in meters of the ball is given by this equation right here where t is time in seconds. So how long will it take for the ball to hit the ground if nobody touches it? Okay, so that's when the ball is going to be, the height is going to be at 0 right there. So let's go ahead and find the discriminant right there. So there's the discriminant so we get 64.2 so that's greater than zero so we know that there's going to be two real solutions and if we get a negative one then we can disregard it you guys so now let's use the good old quadratic formula right there to find the solutions okay so uh, we plug everything in and and we don't have to do the b squared minus 4ac because we already did it up here when we did the discriminant so you're going to have to do it sooner or later so here we go so uh, the square root of 64.2 is around 8 so it's about 8.01 okay so negative 5 plus 8.01 over negative 9.8 and negative 5 minus uh, 0. 
8.01 over negative 9.8, okay? So uh, keep going, negative 5 plus um, uh, 8.01 is 3.01, and then here we have a positive divided by a negative. We're going to get a negative on this answer. Here we have a negative divided by a negative. We're going to get a positive on that answer right there. So here's the two answers, negative uh, 0.31. We can disregard the negative time or 1.33, okay? So... Uh, the soccer ball will reach the ground after about 1.33 seconds. All right, if you guys are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.